That was different. And yes, I drew that. Sue me, I don't have the poster image, dang it. Hey guys, so this is my review for Captain America Civil War. Really Avengers making up for Age of Ultron suckage. This was definitely different. Now, there's one thing I really want to get out of the way with, and it's not like... It's not like Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier was a spy film with a superhero added element, and that was really cool. I really enjoyed that. This film at first was something very similar to a superhero film, then it kind of put it in this thing, and then it went back to being a superhero movie, admittedly different. However, this film does do one thing that Batman vs. Superman did very poorly. It does do the whole reason of the conflict. Well, to an extent. Now, here's my one issue. There's the general guy from the Incredible Hulk. He's the one who's giving them lessons about collateral damage. That asshole? I love William Hurt as an actor. And he does have an excuse of having a heart attack, and that's what gives him perspective. Bullshit. I couldn't take that storyline from him because it was so stupid to be coming from a character who is the worst of all of them. He's the one who has thrown lives after lives in front for his own endeavors, for his own mad projects. So the fact that he's giving them the lecture about collateral damage was just stupid in my opinion. I thought it was a really weak part of the story and mainly because of the character who was, who was portraying it. As for the relationship between Tony and Captain America, the thing I like most about both of them is that both of them have flaws. Whereas there is Tony's ego, there is Captain America's narrow-mindedness. And his mind narrow-mindedness counters with Tony's wants to redeem himself. However, his own redemption is kind of... It's almost like Age of Ultron again, but the thing is, it makes more sense than Age of Ultron, but however, there are some parts in the film that, honestly, the whole point of them fighting each other is something, it, again, it's something from freaking Civil, from a Batman vs. Superman. Two lines of dialogue could have solved the entire issue without anyone fighting each other, and that's what I didn't like the most about this film. Admittedly, yes, it does far better at setting up the conflict than Batman vs. Superman. Egon's way better. Does it do it perfectly, though? No, it doesn't. Because it's not really pacing. It's honestly because of the villain in this film. There's a villain called Zemo, Vimo, whatever. It's played by Daniel Brew, and he sucks. His whole reason for wanting to take down the Avengers is a really cool reason, except when you figure out why he's doing it. He's just a regular villain. He's... Maybe that's one thing that's kind of interesting about it is how a regular man could bring down the Avengers. But I don't know, it just doesn't, it didn't mix with me well. And the thing is, I just, the whole idea of him having, going through all of this, and the thing that's stupid is we, we're supposed to find out that he's actually this bad person, but then when we figure out that he's doing it because of something that happened between him and the Avengers uh, off screen uh, years ago, I. I don't know, I didn't dig it. This was Batman vs Superman, admittedly better, however not perfect. And it's an issue that kept on glaring up. However, and the thing that I actually have to mention is this has the, less, the least amount of humor out of all of them, out of all the movies, I think, in my opinion. Even though Spider-Man's in, and Spider-Man was done very, very well. Very well indeed. I think that uh, Tom Holland, I think that's the name of the actor, despite the fact that he only gets like 10 minutes of screen time, he did a pretty good job. And Ant-Man was really cool. I, it actually made me like the Ant-Man character even more. His movie was garbage in my opinion, but I think that he was really cool. And I actually dug the fact that he went big and I hated those elements in the animated movie. So I think he did really well. And I actually think that this is possibly one of the most intriguing ideas for a superhero movie and there's so many elements that are definitely callbacks to the to the uh, original source comics however it, there are things that just didn't vi vibe with me well the villain the whole reason for why they're fighting the person who's preaching the whole uh, accord of getting with the government black panther though black panther was sweet he's super cool 
So in the end, what is my view of Captain America Civil War? I did enjoy it. I thought it was really cool. I think it's going to definitely change the kind of the ground for the Civil War film, I'm sorry, for the Marvel films. They've now put themselves into this situation and I swear to God, if they just literally solve the issues that this film leads in like the last fit, like, I don't know, the first 15 minutes of fucking Infinity War, I'm going to be pissed as shit because that's stupid. Because that's what they do with someone at the very beginning of the film. They set that guy up. At the end of Captain America Winter Soldier, what do they do? Boom! Out of the movie, 10 minutes in. I was pissed about that. Anyway, guys, my final rating for Captain America Civil War is a 5 out of 7. I did enjoy it, and it's really weird. That's three fives. And a oh, wait, you haven't seen the other one yet. Anyways, oh, by the way, I got to see uh, the theater that I'm going to be going to for the next year. This is my ticket. I have to write on them now, the movie I've seen. Yippee for me. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this review. I will see you next time with whatever comes next week.